in today's video we are going to create an amazing poster design in photoshop grab your mouse as we dive in first things first we are going to create a new document let's grab our asset for this tutorial let's grab this layer ctrl c to copy ctrl v to paste ctrl c we are going to transform the layer with the layer selected ctrl j to make a copy Position the copy and create a max with a max selected. We'll grab a subtown brush. Opacity and flu is set to 100. Hardness is set to 0. Foreground is set to black and we are just going to max this way. We do the same for this layer with the layer selected, we create a max with a soft hand mask and we are just going to mask it this way. Create a solid color. We drop the layer right here. Now we are going to create a new layer right above the solid color. With this opacity, foreground is set to white and we are just going to paint this way. With the layer selected, we are going to reduce the opacity. Now create a max. Foreground is set to black and we are just going to mask it a bit. Holding down the shift key on the keyboard, we are going to select these three layers and copy all of them together. Then we are just going to adjust and put everything in position. With this layer selected, we press Ctrl A and we align that Ctrl D to the excellent. With this layer selected, press Ctrl J to make a copy. Position the copy right about here. Create a curves adjustment layer right above all layers. Now let's grab the rest of our assets. Holding down the Shift key, we select all these layers. Ctrl C to copy. Ctrl V to beat. We are going to drop this layer right here. The layer is below the curves, but we don't want the curves layer applying to that layer. With this layer selected, we are going to reduce the opacity, create a max, with a max selected. We grab any selection tool, so we grab the polygonal lasso tool. We are going to create a selection, once we have a selection this way, right click on the selection and we are going to fill the selection with the foreground color black. Then we hit OK, Ctrl D to the select. Now we can pick opacity back to 100. With this layer selected, Ctrl J to make a copy, Ctrl T. Right click and we are going to flip that. Create a cast adjustment layer right above all layers.
reduce your opacity. We are going to select these layers, Ctrl G to make a group. Ctrl J to make a copy, so we save one for later. Right click on this layer and we are going to convert that into a smart object. Now we'll go for Blur, Gaussian Blur, we set our radius and heat OK. With this layer selected, we are going to paint some shadows and highlight so we create an exposure adjustment layer. Clip right onto the layer so the effect applies when into the layer. With the mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. With the sub tone brush, foreground is set to white, we are going to paint some shadows. Create an exposure adjustment layer. Clip right onto the layer. With a mask selected, Ctrl I to invert. With the sub tone brush. Four when set to white and we are going to paint some shadows. We set four going to white and we paint. We set that to black and we are just going to be masking it out. Basically, you are going to create an exposure adjustment layer. Invert the mask by pressing Ctrl I. With a soft tone brush, you set foreground to white. You are going to paint shadows or highlights. With this layer selected, Ctrl T right click and we are going to warm that a bit. Hit the check mark to confirm with the layer selected. We transform it a bit and we are going to set blend mode to overlay. Right click and we are going to clip it onto the layer. Ctrl J to make a copy. We clip the copy as well and reduce the opacity of the copy. Now we need some shadows for this layer as well. We create an exposure adjustment layer. Clip right onto the layer with the mask selected. Ctrl I to invert. With a sub tone brush. Before when it's set to white, we take care of opacity and we are going to paint some shadows. Create another exposure adjustment layer. Invert the mask by pressing Ctrl I. Right click and change normalness of the brush. Take care of opacity. Set foreground to white and we are going to paint some shadows.
with this layer selected, we are going to apply drop shadow. Now we set our angle distance and spread and we hit OK. Now we are going to collapse this, right click and create a layer. So we are separating the shadow onto a new layer. Right click and convert the shadow layer into a smart object. With the layer selected, create a mask with the mask selected. Grab a soft down brush. Opacity is set to 100, foreground is set to black. And we are just going to mask out all this portion we don't need. Now with the layer selected, we are going to apply Gaussian Blur, set our radius and heat OK. Then we are going to need some contour shadow, so we create a new layer right here. Right click and change on of the brush. Opacity is set to 100, flow is set to 100, foreground is set to black. And we are going to paint some shadows. Create a new layer. Now we reduce the opacity. Create an exposure adjustment layer. With the max selected control I to invert. With the subtone brush foreground is set to white. And we are going to paint some back. Once we have everything in place, we are going to press Ctrl Alt Shift E to match all layers. Right click and convert the layer into a smart object. Then we we'll go for camera roll. All we are going to do is we are going to play with the camera roll settings until we like the final outcome. Once that is looking good, then we hit OK. Now create a curves adjustment layer above this layer. Reduce the opacity with the max selected control I to invert with the soft hand brush. Foreground is set to white and we are going to paint some back. Thank you so much for watching guys. I do hope to see you in the next one. Till next time. Stay creative.